Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have Janine here with me, but I can't turn the camera around because I have a haul of stuff that we just got from a really cool estate sale. This estate sale caught our eye because in the photos advertising the sale, there were all of these, we'll put a photo here, um, all of these Disney store, Disney plush, you got Minnie, Mickey, all the characters. I mean, you've got hundreds like, of them. Look, it looks like a whole room of yeah. them. So that definitely caught our eye. We thought, let's go check this place out, see what else there could be underneath all of that plush. And if you're new to the channel, Janine and I are collectors of vintage holiday mainly, but everything and anything. Janine's over here collecting vintage dinosaurs from the 80s and 90s. Um, I mean, yeah we won't talk about that but yeah we collect and then we partially resell so a lot of the things we find we resell to help fund the collection um to pass along to folks like you guys who are fellow collectors we just have a fun time overall we're currently in the parking lot but we're gonna head over to the house i think we only have like an hour left or so of the sale so it might be a quick in and out but hopefully we find some fun stuff and bring you guys along for the ride and have a fun time overall so let's head in let's go no they're staring <laughs> staring i what hate that when you go to an estate sale and the people working there just stare at you well i'm staring at the house because look how much stuff it's <laughs> i don't think i don't think it was the people who worked there uh oh <laughs> it, was just like, it made me feel uncomfortable it was like i could tell they were like looking in at me there's a, a lot out here the little bunny guy it's cute what's you need a little alien this is the guy you just found 1996. I'm curious over there, Janine. Look at this whole pile of plush. Wow. Wow. There's a lot of stuff here. Oh. Cute. That is really cute. The inflatable pumpkin was marked like $10, though. So. Hmm. Oh, look at these. How cute is that? Look how cute. Is it a music box? Is it a salt and pepper shaker? It's a trinket box. Oh, how cute is that? That is very cute. It's like a deep cleaning, huh? An Esco made in Taiwan. I'm I've never seen that visible. before. They're covers. They're like oh, covers. Those are fun. I like yeah, that they're they filled with like all... Easter grass. We have this at home in amber. A little pricey, huh? A little curious. And obviously somebody had a Yorkie. Oh my goodness. I don't know how I'm supposed to get inside of here. Maybe? I don't know. I feel like I'm trapped on the outside. Huh. Look how cute she is. Oh, I like her, like her little face. I know, there's so many Yorkies. They definitely had a Yorkie. So cute. That one. Yeah. Made in wow. England. Wow. I don't know how to get in here. Well, I want to see the faces of the Yorkies. How am I supposed to see it? I don't know. Interesting. Happy anniversary. That's cute. There must be a lot of stuff here, right? Yeah, there's a ton of stuff. Yeah, we haven't even gotten inside. Oh, so there's stuff in the garage too. Isn't she cute? She is. She's definitely she a Japan a piece. She might have actually, yeah, right, maybe. Like the like yeah. That. She's really cute. She's really cute, yeah. His head is gone. That's too bad. Uh it just says Japan, but it would have been a nice piece. Yeah. Here's the garage. Looks like there's clothes. There's so much plush. Cute. There's just a ton of plush, like everywhere. And there's a door over. That is so cute. Oh. They said they're doing 10 on each of these, which are they doing like bags of plush? No, I think they were stored this way. I think they were stored like this. I'm a little weary about them though. Unless they're in bins. You know, the bags collect moisture and stuff. 
<laughs> There's like a lot of holiday plush too, Jimmy. The entire like Simpsons family. I wonder how much. Mm -hmm. Alright, you wanna go in? Any Halloween? Oh yeah, look for Halloween shirts. Or Christmas sweaters. You wanna head in? Yeah, we can head in. I just looked in this little side room here. In here? Yeah. But there's more Christmas in there I want us to look. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot going on right now. <laughs> oh yeah, we haven't even seen the plush inside. Look at this rubber alligator. Alligator. That's pretty cool. Wow. Look at this. It says 1988 Vix Novelty Ink. And he takes batteries. Wow. That's pretty cool. <laughs> He's cool. If he was a dinosaur, mm, then we'd have an issue on our then hands, we'd huh? Be in trouble, huh? Oh boy. <laughs> We have a big problem. We have like a massive problem, actually. What? Look at these. Oh, the kangaroo. That's what she was talking. No, about. look at all of them. Look at the the deer and and the chick. Oh, and this bunny. Oh my goodness. And this bunny is the cutest little with the little jacket. Oh, look at the kangaroo with the baby kangaroo. Oh, oh and the big bunny behind you. Oh, oh, and the popcorns. And there's more holiday around here. I wonder how much they would do for a okay, few of them. The baby kangaroo. Stop. And the snowman. The snowman. Oh, that's so cute. All right, I have to put up down the camera for a second and like think about this. Oh no. Oh, that's adorable. All right. That is really fun. And all the pumpkins. The pumpkins are cute, and I found this little Santa right here. Yeah, they're cute. Wow. Oh, that's so cute. The Christmas plush. How cute. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> that's adorable. Oh, the other pumpkins. I know, these two, and then the girlies. Oh boy. Wow, look at that reindeer. Amazing. Uh, giant lucite grapes. It's actually a chandelier. You'd hang it. Wow, and that nice lamp for 140. Yeah, there's a lot here. Wow. They have a little collection of things. I don't know if they Yeah, we do have a little pile of things. Wanna grab it or not? Found this knee hugger too. Pink, pink knee hugger. And the Bambi's 15, which I think is pretty fair. We'll see. We've got some pumpkins here. Is this from McDonald's? Oh, cool stuff. Made in Hong Kong. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Something's in there. I know, there's so much stuff too. There's like die cuts here. Yeah, the Irish. Irish stuff. That is cute. And she's really nice. Yeah, that planter so back she's, there. Um, repaired. Mm. I don't know if you saw him. I did see him. I didn't pick him up though. He actually has a marking on the back. They have shopping baskets, which is nice. It is nice. Yeah, maybe you can make that out. Something in some. LB, Cohen, and Sons. They have the old popcorns. I could, these are definitely older. This is nice. Hmm? This is nice. It's um, a music box, mm. but you could also put a light in it. Hmm. 
And then it would illuminate. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Yeah. These are definitely older popcorn shining, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're nice. They are nice. Look at, that. Look at the lamp too. We can get another one more. <laughs> we could. I just don't know when I'll ever find an inflatable rain uh, reindeer. Uh, oh, yeah. kangaroo, kangaroo that actually cool. holds its air really well. Oh I no. Know, like, you think it's obvious? I mean, it's definitely like not an obvious, but like an obvious color like, oh. Hong Kong. Yeah, oh man. Really crazy. We are a little crazy, aren't we? We're a little crazy like that. And we're like, we're like, oh, we love this. Hmm. Look how well he holds his air. He's made in Hong Kong. Oh man. I want to see the rest of the house. This is just like the basement. Wow, this one has the box. Wow. Like brand new. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Thank Here it that. is. This is what it would be. So cute and adorable. It's broken. Oh my goodness. Wow, there's so much stuff, Janine. Oh. Wow, there's some great lighting in here too. Twenty-five on the teapot. A giant die cut. I, I wish he wasn't so big. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, spooky! Look at that light. Four hundred and fifty. That's amazing. Goodness, guys, I wish I could capture really what this looks like. I'm like just in the doorway here. This is unbelievable. Wow. Literally, the whole, every single wall is like filled from floor to ceiling. Oh my goodness. Imagine somebody just comes here and buys it all out. How much for the room? You can't even begin to look through this. Wow. That is incredible. All Mickey and Minnie's. The big ones, too. It's originally $30. I can't wait for Janine to see this. And then in this room, vintage clothing and more plush. Wow. Unbelievable. This guy's missing his lid. Huh, some of these resell. All clothing on this side. Wow. Wild. We're here in the kitchen. Wow. Hi, Jenny. Wow. Oh my God. We should know it works. So, um, Chris. You can't even begin to look, there's just too much stuff. Wow. This is 
It's cute. Oh, baby bottle. Maybe she's really cute. We're trying to decide whether or not to pick her up. She has a beauty mark a, on her face. She has some like stuff going on. Yeah, that might leave a stain. It probably will. She's five dollars. She's cute though. She's really cute. She's kind of falling apart here, but she's really cute. Mm. Oh, it's a little loop. I wonder what that's for. She's interesting. Okay, well, we're out. We got a little bag with some fun goodies. And about um, and a little sippy cup. A little sippy cup for Janine. And four inflatables. How could I not? Removable. With the little removable. Stop it. Kangaroo baby. I'm just telling myself, when's the next time I'm going to find an inflatable kangaroo? Never. Never. So I actually had to. There was no stopping me. Here we are. It's really cute. Smile for the camera boys. <laughs> okay, so oh my goodness. There they are. Um that was sort of wild. The prices sounds like they've been having multiple sales. Yeah. Out of this house. Um, there's so much stuff. Yeah, prices were interesting because like it was definitely like kind of like a digger feel, mm -hmm. but it was all like um curated. Mm-hmm. They definitely pulled sense, stuff out. So it yeah. wasn't like you were digging yourself. So prices were a little higher than I think what I would have expected going into a house that's that, that packed. That's the thing. There was so um, much stuff. There's so, so much, but... Uh, interesting. Yeah, we got a good deal, you know? Yeah. At the end of the day, we um, we decided to pick what we wanted to, to pay and, you know, decide from there. Right. Yeah, she didn't really negotiate... Um, we had to put some, I put some stuff back. Yeah, we both decided, like, no. We spent... But you know, some of the stuff, too, um, it was definitely a home that had a lot of stuff, and because of that, it wasn't, you know, it kind of, through the years, and maybe animals and stuff, things have deteriorated with time, so mm -hmm. it wasn't in the best condition. Mm -hmm. Um, so you really need to think about, should I spend mon that much on it? Um, and we are so like, you know, we go to the thrift store so often and we find things at the thrift store that sometimes I'm like, maybe I'll wait to see if this will arrive mm. at the thrift store. Right. Instead the prices. Of buying it here mm -hmm. with a little bit of, you know, damage. Right. The and prices were okay. They weren't like, we didn't get a pile for 60 bucks. Uh, we paid 125 for Which everything. Which doesn't happen anymore, really. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't it's wild. Anymore. The inflatables were $75 and didn't really budge on them which is okay i just you know we pick up things to resell to help fund the collection so that's sort of what this yeah, was so what, um yeah like a lot of you know but if you're new you don't know um most of what we buy we keep and because we are collectors like first and foremost so when we do go into sales we look for our own collection first and if there are things that we can flip so that we can fund our own collection to keep on collecting because if you're a collector, you know it gets expensive. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So that's what we do. We don't. Yep. We don't go out and just flip things. Right. It's a good mix um, of both. Like in this case, yeah. the inflatables. We try to balance it. Most of them, I think, almost all of them are going to stay with me <laughs> in the living room. I might pass along the with snowman. With you in the living room. <laughs> They're going in the living room. Um, uh, and like the Christmas stuff was picked up to resell so that, you know, help pay with, you know, you guys understand how it works. And yeah. like, we'll go through stuff in our personal collection that we've had for like five years and we'll pass it along to, um, you know, viewers and people who watch YouTube and follow us on Instagram. So mm -hmm. it's like a big, and that's like the whole like vintage community. Like, you know, it's one big circle. It's just of, a cycle. Right? <laughs> it really is. It's the ultimate recycling. It's and... basically, we just all trade to each other. <laughs> it's true. Essentially. It's we're really all fun. trading. But this was a really cool sale. I do wish yeah. the prices were better considering how much was in the home. And I wish we got here a little earlier. They um they mm. closed within like, they were closing like an hour after 40 we minutes, arrived. An hour. Yeah, so, um, I didn't realize how much Very like, nice of them too. Was. Like, they weren't rushing anyone mm -hmm. out either, which was very nice of them. Yeah. Um, like, I knew that there was a ton of Disney plush by those pictures, but did not know the extent of the rest that was in the house. Yeah, so, and it's a little bit of a drive, like we said, so I'm not sure we're going to be back. They might do another weekend, but... Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I mean... It, it was a cool sale, though. It wasn't that... It wasn't that bad of a drive, so... No. 
it was yeah. just really cool. It was actually pretty there, fun there to look through. I don't know if we said, but there's more rooms that they haven't gotten to. And they're going to take more stuff out of. So, very cool. I almost got a dinosaur. Mm -hmm. uh, you didn't see that one, but see I that. almost got a dinosaur. But it was made in China. Mm -hmm. And it was $10. I was like, put it down, Janine. You have a dinosaur. You have a full dinosaur. But that's collection. what I'm saying. Like, why is that dinosaur $10 when there's so much other stuff? But anyway, it's fine. We had a fun time. We're going to show you guys know. what we got. Is it a question? I don't know. Whatever. I don't know people's motives here. I don't, it's all right. <laughs> We're just here for a fun time. We're going to show you guys what we got. These inflatables are incredible. Um, I have no regrets. When do you ever come across an inflatable kangaroo and baby? <laughs> this was one of these things where I saw it and like I really thought for a long time and then I was like, what are you thinking, Laura? Come to your senses, you have to get this. It is very big. What, what'd you say, two and a half feet? Yeah. Three feet? I'd say. I did pay full price for all the inflatables, but I think it's well worth it. I just know I'll never come across something like this probably ever again. Um, watch, we find out at the thrift store next week. <laughs> Um, <laughs> new in package. <laughs> these were really popular in starting in the 70s really. Some of them like you'll see on the chick are actually made in Japan which means they're probably from the late 60s early 70s. Um, I've never seen this little kangaroo before. Look at the baby guys. I love that it comes with the baby in the pouch. It is so cute. It's going to go in the living room. But I also, Janine's like rolling Sorry. her eyes. <laughs> you can deflate them and so, <laughs> store them flat, which is what I think is great about them. I was just gonna say, so you're keeping this. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm keeping the kangaroo for sure. I mean, come on. A purple kangaroo inflatable? No, I'm I do think obsessed. it's very cute. It's I so love kitschy. that the um, baby comes out of the pouch and like you inflate that on its own. It's so different. Again, when would you ever find it? I don't know. Um, but it is really cute. At the estate sale, there were a lot of bunny rabbits and rabbits and Easter items were really popular for these inflatables. They also made some Christmas, but I've never come across like there was a squirrel there and some different animals, so. Yeah, and you do come I across this guy. the bunnies more mm -hmm. often. Mm -hmm. um, we find Santa, we'll find reindeer. A kangaroo is definitely a first for us. And if you look actually, Janine, I just noticed on the, um, plug right there it is marked japan oh yeah sort so, of see that this is an older one you know if it was marked hong kong i would say a true 70s inflatable but this might be a little earlier now the chick is something that when i first saw it i was like yeah this definitely needs to come home with us look at that bright pink oh my gosh it's so cute this one is also marked japan on its inner foot and what's fun about this one too is that it rattles. It sort of has a bell on it. Um, what I also really thought was great about these and why I paid up for them is that I, w I didn't have to sit there and like blow them up. Like mm -hmm. I knew that they were going to hold their air, which is a common um, defect that these have given their age. I think this one is so cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I paid 75 for all the inflatables. They would not negotiate. Um, it was we tried. Like we talked about, the <laughs> pricing was a little iffy, but I was happy to pay for these since I'm keeping the majority of them. This guy, Janine, is marked Ideal Toy Corporation. Oh, wow. Yeah, and he's actually marked Hong Kong. So he's probably a bit newer. You can actually even just tell in his build. Mm -hmm. and he looks a little bit more, you know, in better condition. Besides those tape marks, which I think I'll be able to get off with a bit of Goo Gone or Dawn and soap. Um, he's so cute. I love his little purple and hot pink mm -hmm. candy cane. I might pass this guy along. He's also really nice because he has a weight on the bottom. So we just had to fix. The kangaroo just jumped out of our car, so we out. had to uh, stop no, for a second. There's no way he was getting away. Um, I can't remember what I was saying. I think you were saying you might pass this one I along. I might pass this one along um, because I have quite a few inflatable Christmas pieces. I have a giant Santa. Um, and while he would love to have a little snowman friend, I have to think about it. And then I was absolutely obsessed with this deer that I found. I thought Another she was one that so has a different. bell? She does have a bell in her head somewhere. She's also made in Japan on the on plug the right there. As well. mm -hmm. Wow. And you could even just tell in like the eyes and the way that they're like almost illustrated, the Japan ones versus mm -hmm. this a little bit more um, simple, but they're both really great. I love this little ribbon on her neck. Her head's a little top heavy. <laughs> I don't know if these weren't just inflated to their full capacity or if they're like losing air a little bit, mm. but this is really hard, hard to come by too. You do find deer um, online and I'll throw in some comps over here, but 
not with this like giant eye and like the color and the ribbon it's just really unique i picked up this mcdonald's cup um it looks like brand new yeah i mean it's got like i don't know if the, it was used outside's dirty from wherever it was stored but it's in really good shape overall i don't know what year it's from it doesn't have a year on it and so i have to do a little bit of research on it it was marked three dollars which i think is a fair deal and I just really like it. It has like all the characters with like spacesuits on and they're like in outer space. Like look at Grimace in a spacesuit. Just really cute. Had to pick it up. Will you be using it? I don't know. I thought it'd be really cute with like McNugget buddies around it. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of holiday at the sale. I wish the prices were a little bit more competitive. Otherwise, I think we would have walked away with more. Um, but I am really happy with what we found. Mm -hmm. I picked up these two knee huggers. You'll notice their legs are about to pop off yeah um, you found one these are found in two different places yeah so you found one i don't know where you found it in the basement yes no i don't remember <laughs> but i found one in like the dining room area with oh, a I bunch found, of the toys yeah, the basement and the one i found is like really the legs like almost about to fall off so uh they actually actually both are there like that no but they are but you the know one i we found were... was really bad um but you know what we were thinking given the fact that they're only five dollars and also that they're in really really good condition otherwise like yeah sometimes you know the felt will be chewed through mm -hmm. they'll have marks on their faces like otherwise yeah. they're in fantastic condition Janine, that is true janine will use some of her goblin making skills to get those <laughs> legs back on and reattach and i think they'll look like brand new so i think that was a good pickup yeah i agree you know knee huggers are getting harder to find and like you said overall besides they're like the same it's interesting because it's also the same leg that's falling off on each of them besides that the colors are bright their faces are clean so five dollars each really can't complain yeah. um we'll probably fix these up what else do i want to say oh they're hot pink so that's really cool and different yeah. as well now what do you have in that hand a little dancing santa he was eight dollars but i think that's really fair considering he's one of the dancing santas made in japan these are Absolutely. harder to find than their hong kong cousins um and i think cuter usually the ones that are a little bit older um and his flocking is good he's nice and white yeah he's his beard is very clean his flocking in great condition um so eight dollars great score janine yes you picked up some ceramics yeah, so I found this cute little Santa and Mrs. Claus. I love their faces. This is ceramic and it's cool. It has its light cord with it. It's kind of interesting. I've never seen a piece like this. It has this like metal base. It is marked on the bottom. Um, Underwriters, laboratories, portable lamp, Aladdin giftware. So I'm thinking this looks like it's from the 70s to me um we didn't test it with we didn't test the light cord so i don't know if it lights up but you can take the light bulb out if the light bulb doesn't work and i think it'll look really cute all lit up it's but just such a different piece i think we had to pick it up it was marked ten dollars which i think is a good deal i don't think his music box works but that's not why we picked him up we think he's adorable he has that cute button nose and two eyes made out of coal he's a little ceramic um this snowman is just so cute we tend to and i when i say we i'm gonna say mostly laura tend to really like snowmen that have a really big round <laughs> nose <laughs> opposed to like a carrot nose uh on the bottom it says made in japan also do not overwind I wonder if it was overwound at one point and that's why it's not working. I don't know, maybe we can get it to work. I do wonder what it plays. Maybe Frosty? Sometimes they just need a little bit of time and they start going into motion. Also, you can take it out. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to maybe even do that and see if I can get it to work. A little tinkering? Yeah. This is a really cute piece, Janine. I think it's maybe from the 70s, even though it does say Japan on it, just because it is more of that bisque finish. But... With all that being said, I think he, like you said, is really cute. Is it that big nose? It might be. <laughs> Janine and I were really excited when we saw this deer. I've noticed him from like just figurines. I know I've seen him before as like a figurine, but not as a music box. He was 15. 
Um, and I think he's got a really nice paint job. I was guessing like 70s on this, like mid to late 70s. And I actually just flipped it over and in very faint writing or stamping on the bottom, it's actually marked 1974. Oh, wow. Now the little turn knob is missing, so I'm not sure if he works. Might have to take some pliers to that to manually twist it. Um, but just like the snowman, it's really all about the reindeer here. Not so much about the music that it plays. Mm -hmm. um, and for $15, I think that was a fair price. And it's a really cute reindeer at that. Um, and it's in great condition. There are no chips, no scratches or anything, breakages, repairs. It's really cute. It's a cute little piece. Nice little find. Janine, you're so smart. This is why I keep you around. It's the only reason. <laughs> So it plays Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, should have known. Um, I just took the little handle, widener mm -hmm. handle, mm -hmm. off of this one. Smart. Put it on there and uh, we could test it. And this one works, so very nice. Well guys, that concludes today's video. Not sure if you could still hear Rudolph the Red-Nosed <laughs> playing in the background, but we had a lot of fun. It was a different sale. Um, if it wasn't so far away, we might be going back because there was just so much to look at. We hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining us. See you next time. Bye. Bye.